other <laughs> day when I went to put on my nice little summer skirt and it didn't fit so right. Kelly, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't believe that. You're in great <laughs> shape. But you know what? Boxing is one of the most challenging and fastest ways to get in shape. So we threw a little something together for you. This is day one of the boxing series. Check it out. Hey guys, for the next few weeks, we're going to be doing boxing style workouts. So what that means is we're going to be doing some boxing conditioning and we're also going to be doing some stuff in the ring. So I want it to be easy, relatively easy stuff you can pick up at home and you definitely want a buddy. So I have Allison Cummings here. She is a producer at KERO. She's our morning producer, so it's kind of her bedtime right now. And we also have Ornesto Torres. So just real quickly, what are some of the benefits of boxing? Well, some of the benefits, it's a good mix of anaerobic, anaerobic exercise. Whereas, um, you know, more cardio, aerobic fitness, you're used for like longer range, 20 minute range, uh, more, you know, using the fat to burn your fuel. Um, but on the anaerobic, it's more of like the sprinting ability. So it's a good mixture of both. And it's, it's one of the few sports where you have a mixture of that anaerobic uh, endurance and aerobic endurance. All right, perfect. So it's going to be challenging, but it's also going to be a lot of fun. Let's get to it. So what we're going to do is uh, a very important warm-up is to skip rope. It's, it's good for the, uh, the footwork, your agility, and it's one of the fastest ways to get your heart rate up. So what they're going to do, they're going to skip rope, and a lot of beginners, they have trouble with this in the beginning. So the price they pay for that, and they're going to get double duty, if they make a mistake on the rope, they have to do 10 push-ups. So they get two workouts. They either get better on the rope or they just get stronger with their push-ups. So go ahead and what we do, we do everything three minute rounds, one minute intervals. So I'm gonna set the clock, three minutes, one, and you could do this at home. So we're gonna start in the bell, okay? Go. Now if they make a mistake, they gotta do 10 push-ups. See, I don't think they're going to be able to keep this pace. They started too fast. They're barely at 2.30. So one of them's eventually going to have to do push-ups. Very soon. There you go. 10 push-ups. Now, on the push-ups, what I want you to try to do, I have a lot of my students do this, what I call no momentum push-ups. So what you do is you go down, let your chest hit the floor, palms up, and then you come up. The reason I like this push-up is a lot of people, they do the push-up wrong. They'll have their arms flared out. I want people to be able to go through the full range of motion on the push-up. Palm up, and then come up. Okay, so you see she works her full range of motion. She's not going halfway. And after she does, she does 10, and then she can move on back on the rope. Not doing push-ups. <laughs> Break. Next, I guess we'll go to the, the bags. Kelly, I feel like... <laughs> exactly. I need, get I you need ready to get for it, there. right? Yeah, like I feel like I'm getting warmed up just watching that. <laughs> that's right, and that's just part one. So Ernesto, he was saying he has his classes do three three-minute rounds with about a 30-second uh, break in between. And then my old boxing instructor, he would have us do one five-minute round. So no matter what, it's a great way to get your heart rate up no matter what cardio workout you're doing. Absolutely. i got to go home and try yeah, that. Yeah. Although I'll probably be doing push-ups. Well, join us next time. We'd love to see you in the ring. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Coming